Okay, we're in the furnace room here um, at the residence where I'm doing the basement development. Um, just going to explain uh, heat runs and cold air returns um, to the furnace. Um, when you're doing a bedroom in a basement or any separate room other than a washroom in a home, you need to have a cold air return which recycles the air back to the furnace um, from each individual room, reheats it and sends it back out. So this duct here is our heat run duct. It's got many elbows coming out of it going to various rooms uh, throughout the house. Now from this heat duct here we need to have a run in each of the separate bedrooms out in the basement development. This duct work here is the cold air return duct. It returns um, air to the furnace which then gets recycled and resent and heated up and resent out. This is very important to have a cold air return in each room as I mentioned before. I'm going to take you over to the um, basement development side and we're going to show how to connect into an existing trunk line which is this and bring down some cold air returns down to the floor which is where they need to be. Up here are this gray um, thermal pa pan plastic. Um, it's just a corrugated plastic where they've installed that on the floor joist to create an extension of the cold air return trunk. Um, so what I've done here is I've cut an, an elbow into the existing cold air return. It comes down to this pipe here, sucking air in this cavity from the floor. So when the furnace kicks on, air is going to go in here, up, through here, down the cold air return trunk, and back to the furnace. Um, when you're cutting through, uh, when you're doing joint material with uh, ducting, or anything like that, it's a good idea to use the tin foil tape, foil tape, um, seals all air gaps, which makes your system more efficient. Just pull off the back. Now you can see here I've got all the other pieces all the way around, just ensuring that the uh, seal is nice and tight around the thermal pan to the elbow and um, I'm going to go over to the end of the cold air return trunk and bring one down for the washroom. Um, that one is not going to need a back of thermal pan, it's going to use drywall on both sides of the wall to create the cold air return chase. Cool. Okay. Let me just take a couple. It looks pretty good from this angle over here too, just because you get the whole length. Okay. You're all ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to bring the cold air return from the existing trunk down this wall cavity to supply cold air return for the bedroom um, down at the floor. Need to start by cutting this wall plate. That is where the air is going to come through. Um, as you can see, it's already cut. I like to use this angle uh, up on the edges to uh, seal the air coming down through this wall cavity. Okay, while I'm here, I'm going to remove this piece of corrugated plastic uh, because once our drywall is in here, it will do um, the sealing of the joist paste to create the cold air return. So it's uh, no longer necessary and uh, will make your drywall bulge down if you don't remove it.
Okay, uh, now I'm just gonna come to the other side, uh, finish off putting a piece up here, um, moving this bulkhead a little further down, um, and installing the trim piece around the bottom here to create the chase. Okay, so I gotta switch you sides. Okay. Okay, so. All set? Yep. Okay, now we've got our strengthener angle uh, installed on both sides of the wall, just so that the wall won't shake now that it's been cut apart. I've got a bulkhead installed here to stop the cold air from continuing down this chase. We uh, don't need it to be down the length of the whole floor, floor joist, so we just install this bulkhead. Um, now I'm ready to move to the floor and put the grill on and uh, should be ready to test. So this is a pre-made sheet metal accessory. Creates a six inch by 14 inch opening in the wall cavity. Um, then you would put a decorative grill over the top and that creates your entry for the cold air return. Right, nice and firm. Drywall is going to go down on each side of this, cut around this edge, um, and uh, finish with a nice grill. I'm about to split these screws down. All right. All good? Yeah. Okay. So uh, now that we're finished drywalling the bedroom, um, you can see here this was the cold air return that we had put in earlier with our steel um, edging and our bulkhead up there to block the flow. I just wanted to come back and show you before we seal off the washroom side here uh, to how this works. Um, now the air is gonna flow um, from the bedroom through here, up, through there, not be able to go left, and it'll go back towards the furnace, completing the cold air return.